friends, welcome to another reading vlog or another vlog where I just do a lot of things that aren't reading. <laughs> um, I am currently laying or like leaning over on my uh, island because as you saw, I did a full clean of my shelves and reorganized them. My mom cleared up one of my other shelves on the other side of my wall in my office space. So I was able to use that to extend my stuff onto. <laughs> and I was able to clear out all the books in my room except for my Harry Potters. And that giant stack of them kind of just chilling on the floor I was managed to put that all in there. But it's a really big job to, cause I alphabetize by author. That's how I sort my books and how I organize them. But even though my shelves were like that already, I had to sort the new books into that style and then like sort the books into like proper order on the shelves with the new books in there. And then I had to move the books all over because I like moved my classic shelf onto the other side. So that took me from like 8.30 to noon, uh, which is a long time and then so last night there was a moth in my room like a big thing like this big and it scared me so I got up and then I couldn't find it to kill it so I like came upstairs at like midnight and I like went and slept in the spare bedroom and left a note for my parents so they wouldn't freak out when they couldn't find me in the morning and I was like yeah there's a moth in my room and I don't I couldn't find it and I couldn't sleep with that so then my parents were like ha 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 you need to clean your entire room. And I was like, great. So that's what I've been doing since then. I, uh, it's now 3.30 and I need to go like dust and vacuum and then like put the rest of the stuff away. Cause I think I'm done pretty much sorting. I haven't gone through like clothes or drawers or anything. Cause that's like an entire day's work itself. Um, but then I gotta do that. I still have to organize my like Harry Potter shelves in my room because I want to change them around a bit. But I am so tired. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I have the house to myself for the weekend, which is very nice because mom and dad are gone camping. So, and tomorrow is gonna be my uh, 12 hour write-a-thon, which is very exciting. I am very, very ready for it. Can't wait. I can't wait to see what kind of like results I get out of it, but yay. Anyways, I am so thirsty. The watermelon is so good. Oh, I'm so warm, but I'm also like cold because my basement's cold. Oh, no. Oh. Anyways. I will update you guys later. Welcome to my Saturday of my reading vlog. It is also my 12 hour write-a-thon day. <laughs> I, you think I would have planned better for this because I woke up and it's like late <laughs> and I have stuff to do today as well as the 12 hour write-a-thon. So I'm going to be up until like one today writing. <laughs> so instead of just chatting with you, Let's get this stuff done. Let's go, let's do all my errands, and then we'll start writing. <laughs> so the first thing on my list is to go to the uh, thrift store 
and donate the incredible amount of books here, of books there, and books there. So, let's go do that. <laughs> Day. How are y'all doing? Hopefully you're enjoying your day, or I guess it's your time watching this video because it's been like, what, a second since the last clip? And anyways, <laughs> I am going to go out and about today and I'm going to take you with me because I'm planning on going to Indigo, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to treat myself to a book. <laughs> And I have gift cards, so it's not even like I'm spending money. Anyways. Oh, this morning, I have edited the reading vlog that is going up Tuesday from last weekend. And I edited my writing vlog already um, from yesterday. My 12-hour write-a-thon, which is very exciting. Um, it's already edited and I'm just exporting it now. Um, I'm not sure when that one's gonna go up, but I'm happy that it's edited because it's done then. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say. I've realized that I have not read a single thing in this reading vlog. <laughs> so when I get home after shopping today, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to read. I'm going to read something, I don't know. I only have Aragon on the go right now, so maybe I'll get a good chunk done of that, because it's already, what, July 20th, 21st? I can't remember what day it is. Let me see. 21st. <laughs> just slid down my thing. Anyways, I just heated up my coffee, because I let it sit for too long when I was editing, and now it's cold, so. I got it. Anyways, I will update you guys later. <laughs> to show you my purchases so let's see here so I'm gonna put you it's not gonna work is that okay hold on let me grab all the things and I will go sit somewhere I also picked up the new uh what is it the lavender honeycomb Starbucks like ice latte they have it as a frap a hot latte and, and, and an ice latte verdict's in it's very good it's very subtle and it's just like what I can compare it to is kind of like a caramel macchiato but not caramelly or bitter it's got like a light sweet kind of almost floral taste which would be the lavender obviously but yeah no I asked the lady at the little kiosk thing I was like have you tried it do you like it and she goes actually yeah I really do like it and a lot of people have liked it since, so try it one day. It's very good. Um, let me see if I can figure out how to keep my phone standing. Okay, so I went in um, and my favorite store, uh, plus size store, because I am plus size, uh, was having their like customer appreciation sale, so it was 40% off today, and I was like, oh, hell yeah. So I looked at all their stuff last night to see if there was anything that I really wanted. There's a ton of stuff that I want, but like, money. <laughs> I can't spend that much. So I ended up deciding I was gonna go for a pair of jeans and a shirt, um, but when I went there, the pair of jeans that I wanted to look at, they didn't have any in store. So I ended up just ordering two different sizes online when I got back to my car, because I was like, no, I want these jeans. I've been thinking about them for a while. 
excuse me. So I have those coming to me and whichever size fits me, I'll just return the other size, you know, thoughts. But then I also picked up, I have now three of these shirts and they're my favorite shirts to wear to work ever because they're classy and they're so comfortable and so light and they just look good with everything. But they have their um, fall colors in now. So I picked up this one and it's like a double layered type of deal. It's very difficult to explain. I don't know. I really like them. I have it in yellow. This is the back. It's got a keyhole. I have it in a yellow. I have it in a pink floral, like with like floral pattern. And then I have a black. Um, and now I have a rust because uh, fall is my time to thrive and the fall colors are coming in. I'm so excited because those are my colors that I like look the best in, you know? Um, but yes, so I got that and I also picked up another bra because I was, I need one. <laughs> I needed one and they have bras there that I adore. Uh, but for books, I ended up going with the flat chair by Beth O'Leary. This is the one that you saw in that clip that I filmed. So I ended up walking around Indigo for like an hour at least and I just kept moseying around and I picked up books and then I would think about it then I'd put them back down and this is my favorite kind of day to have ever just to have as much time as I want in a bookstore and I knew I couldn't really get more than two because uh, the gift cards that I had um, came to only about $40 and in Canada books are friggin expensive. <laughs> This one ended up being uh, $25 and it's a paperback. And then the other one ended up being like 15 and then plus tax. It ended up being $40 and like some cents. So I just paid the cents, which is great. Um, but so the flat chair is a contemporary romance adult book. Not, it's, it wasn't in the romance section. So I don't know if it's actually classified as romance, but in my head it is. It's probably because I don't know much about it, but it is basically these two people share a flat or an apartment if you're from Canada or the U US. Um, so they share an apartment um, because they each work different shifts. They never meet each other and they share like the same bed, but they never sleep in it at the same time because they're never there when the other person is, which is such an interesting concept. But the back says, what if your roommate was your soulmate? Um, Tiffy and Leon share an apartment. Tiffy and Leon have never met. So I just, I really love the idea of this and I've been wanting to get my hands on it for a long time and now I have it. So yay. Um, the next book I picked up, I put a poll up on Instagram because um, I was going to pick up Brandon Sanderson's uh, Steel Heart or Marissa Meyer's um, Renegades because they they kind of have the same feel but I really like like superhero-y type stuff. But I was like, Brandon Sanderson's world building is amazing, but I've also been looking at Marissa Meyer's <laughs> Renegades for so long. And in like the 10 minutes that the poll was running, it was a Renegades one, <laughs> which is fine because I can pick up uh, Steelheart at a different time because it's it also really interests me and also Brandon Sanderson's world building is amazing. So I picked up Renegades, and from what I know, this is just basically like a superhero story. Superheroes, they're called Renegades. I'll read you the back, that makes it a lot easier. Secret identities, extraordinary powers. She wants vengeance, he wants justice. The Renegades are a syndicate of prodigies, humans with extraordinary abilities who emerge from the ruins of a crumbled society and establish peace and order where chaos reigned. As champions of justice, they remain a symbol of hope and courage to everyone, except the villains they once overthrew. Nova has a reason to hate the renegades, and she is on a mission for vengeance. As she gets closer to her target, she meets Adrian, a renegade boy who believes in justice, and in Nova. But Nova's allegiance is to a villain who has the power to end them both. So. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be, to be honest, but I'm excited. I enjoyed... Uh, Marissa Meyer's uh, Cinder, which is the beginning of the what, Lunar Chronicles, that the, what they're called. But I, I didn't read any of the other ones because, I don't know. I read it and then I was like, oh, I gotta get Scarlet. And I picked up Scarlet and then I never read it. And now it doesn't really interest me anymore, so it's fine. But yeah, so those are my purchases for the day. I am going to go get my pajamas on. 
I am, I think I'm gonna watch some booktube or Netflix and I'm gonna cook a little bit later because I wanna cook myself dinner and then lunches for the week for work. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd update you guys. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> I realized um, that I never actually explained what some of my shelves were, especially the ones in my room. I mean, that one's a little bit self-explanatory because it's just exploding Harry Potter, but that is my entire Harry Potter collection, um, which is very exciting. And one day I will go through that in depth and it'll be a Harry Potter shelf tour. I just have to do it, that's all. Uh, but this one on this side of my room, besides the lovely, beautiful one in the back, this one is a vintage antique book shelf, basically. Uh, but the one in front of me, I will explain. So as you can tell, this is basically just like a random shelf. Uh, but so the, my computer is there. There's two videos currently being uploaded to YouTube, which is fantastic. Um, and so this, this is where my computer sits because it's out of the way then. Um, I have a bunch of notebooks at the bottom there. And then this is just a thing full of random things. I have a few books, book sleeves in there. I have some cords and stuff. I don't know. It's just a, a junk thing, basically. I have a planner that starts in August. My watch is just sitting there because I was just on my computer. Um, and then I have two notebooks there. Those are my like main story notebooks that I work out of. Uh, this one is like random and then movies. So I have just a bunch of movies. These are all the movies that I own personally, the ones that I have bought. But yeah, random shelf. And then... I have my TBR. This is my immediate TBR. So I've shrunk my TBR shelf to just one, which is like the ones that I want to read right away because I, I mean, I have my shelves over in the other room that you guys have seen and I don't want to keep like keep emptying them <laughs> with the books that I want to eventually read. I'll just leave them there and then when I want to go look for a new book, I can come to here or I can go over there, um, which is fine. But I also have some of the books that I like want to get to right away. Like this is my book club read with my friends, The Princess Bride, for um, August. So that is on my immediate TBR. These two are I want to read them like right away as soon as I can. Um, these two actually I want to read them. I remembered that I had The Shadow of the Fox on my TBR, but I just kept forgetting about it. So I put it here to remind myself. Um, I read a review actually last night about Roar and it convinced me to read it. So now it's here. <laughs> and I think the second book in this series is coming out in August, which is exciting. So it like spiked my, uh, my interest in this again um, since I bought it like two years ago. Uh, the flat chair I just bought, so I put it here because I really want to get to it. Uh, this is an arc that I got from HarperCollins um, that I really want to get to as well. This is going to be, um, I guess it shouldn't really be here because it's going to be my book club pick for October for my friends. Um, so the way that we've done our book, our book club is there's four of us, so we each have a different month type of thing. So I went first with the Moonstone, so that was June. July is Good Omens, which is sitting there. Um, August is The Princess Bride, and then my friend Sophie still has to pick her book for September, which is exciting, but then it starts over again, and then mine's gonna be Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, so I guess this one can go back in the other room. I don't know why it's here. Um, and I did read A Darker Shade of Magic. I reread it the other day, or like recently, I can't remember exactly when, but I want to get finally into the Gathering of Shadows. I don't know when I will, but I want to keep it here. It's gonna be a goal of mine to get there either in August or September. Um, and then I'm doing a video with all three of these coming up at the beginning of August. I do believe I'm going to film it. So that's why they're here and not on my other shelves. That's why there's a big gap after the hardcovers. Um, and then Game of Thrones, the third one I have here because I want to get to it. I want to start it. I want to keep going in this series because I really enjoy Clash of Kings. And I now I'm in No Man's Land. I don't know what happens after the end of Clash of Kings because I had originally read about three quarters of the way through Clash of Kings, so I was like rereading it basically, but from now forward, I have no idea what's happening. And then Renegades is another one that I bought today. So that's the shelf basically. And then up here, I got Hop and L keeping me company. I got my diploma, cause or my degree, not my diploma. Oh my God, 
spent a lot of money on that. Four years of my life on that degree. <laughs> um, and then Good Omens is just going to sit there until um, we ha my friends and I have our book club meeting. And then over here, th these are each one of these are different arts tribunes that I did um, that I have pieces published in through my university, which is exciting. And I always kept grabbing like stacks of them. So now I just have a bunch of literary magazines from my high school. And then this is like the convocation book that came with the degree. I'm going to go upstairs and read. What am I going to read? I'm not sure. I, I think I might save Aragon for the week. Maybe I'll start like Shadow of the Fox or Roar, actually, which is an interesting one. Um, I also have um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone just chilling there. I really wanted to like actually do a vlog with that one because it is one of my childhood favorites. I want to do like a specific vlog that's called like rereading my childhood favorite kind of thing. Um, and in that vlog, I'm also planning on rereading some of the Magic Treehouse books because I have like a million in the back and they're like this big so I can like go through them and it'd be kind of a fun little vlog to do. So I think I might do that next weekend. But, for now, I actually kind of want to read Roar. So I'm going to. I'm going to start a new book today. How exciting! guys it's a little later now and apparently I'm losing my voice a little bit <laughs> um, I have done not much for the rest of the day since I last updated you guys um, I ended up reading a hundred pages of Roar how many pages yeah I got to page 103 of Roar um, it's good uh, at the beginning I was like super intrigued and then like the intrigue faded and then it is it's, it's climbing again so um, I always find that books kind of do that for me if I don't get through the first like 100 pages 75 to 100 pages um, pretty quickly I'll lose interest in a book because it's just how my brain works so I'm liking this um, also I noticed that the pages are yellow so if if I wanted to I could once I finish this, I could in include this as my choice for the prompt of yellowed pages, and then I just read Harry Potter and the Source of Stone for fun. I mean, all my reading is for fun, but I don't know, it's choices. <laughs> choices, that's all that matters. Anyways, um, I've also been watching a lot of booktube, which is why I haven't gotten more of Roar done. Um... Now I have a little bit of a headache coming on, which is strange, but I'm going to go to sleep, I think, because, well, it's 11.20 and I work tomorrow morning, so I should go to sleep anyways. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this reading vlog. I know it was kind of a little bit disjointed without Saturday there because of my write-a-thon, but I tried to balance it with the clean-out on Friday and then taking you to the book store today. I was about to say book fair. It's not a book fair. It's a book store. <laughs> Anyways, I will catch you guys in another video soon. Make sure to like and subscribe and do all the things down below. Make sure to follow me on my social medias. They're always in the description bar of my videos. And uh, stay kind and keep on reading. Good night, guys.